Hi guys, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be an update for my Partners in Cream Project pan. I will be a, a recording three videos today, so you will be seeing the same getup for the next week or so. <laughs> so, hope you guys don't mind. Uh, but yes, this is an update for my uh, Partners in Cream. I am working on four items. You guys know the spiel created by Steph Lyon and Dylan. It's a collab with a ton of people. Let's move on. Um, so yeah, I'm working on four items and I'm very happy because I have pretty decent progress on all of them. So I'm very, very happy. So the first one I'm going to start with is this eyeshadow primer. And this is the um, high voltage eyeshadow primer from Kat Von D. And this is still, it's that old that it's from the brand Kat Von D. Not KVD, but Kat Von D. Um, anyway, uh, that's what this guy is looking like right now. As you guys can see, it's been folded and bent in a way that now it's created a suction and it's being held this way. I did get a scale finally, so I'll be putting a picture of what this weights right now. Um, I'm very, very close to finishing, guys. I think this is the only eyeshadow primer I've used all year long. So I'm going to be very, very excited when I finally finish it. So that's what I have right now. Uh, maybe you guys also saw a comparison picture, but if not, I'll just hold this right here in case you haven't just yet. So, um, yeah, that's it for this one. Very, very sure, positive that I'm going to be finishing this by the end of the year. I think it's the only item, well, no, aside from my uh, eyeshadow, I mean, cream shadow blush palette. Um, cream blush palette, words are hard. Uh, those two items have been in my collection since the beginning of the year. And since we're talking about the blush palette, let's just move into it that way I don't have to struggle with saying that again. So I'm working with this palette from e.l.f. And at the beginning of the year, I had three shades that I was working on and I have finished two. This is what the palette is currently looking like. You guys will be seeing a picture of last month's update. Um, compared to last month, I have significantly, I had significantly, um, increase the pan and once it got to the point where I kind of had the, this amount of width left in all four corners I decided to focus on one side only and hit like side pan and so that's what I did I moved the brush this way and as you guys can see I was able to clean it out and hit side pan and I have been working I don't know if you guys can tell I've been working my brush now this way right here um, it's significantly smaller than this one and that's because I've been working my brush this way So I'm gonna be working my way around the pan and hopefully uh, Finish it like this this year. So my goal I would love it for next month if I have Maybe about half of this finished that way or maybe like maybe this way right here Like not exactly half but maybe a little bit over so it kind of coincides with the diagonal line right here um that way I have like two months to finish it. Technically this project ends December 10th. So I don't know if I'll finish it by December 10th, uh, but as long as I finish it before the end of the year, I will be very, very happy. So uh, technically I have two more updates for this project, but I guess you can say I have two and a half months to finish it. So very, very happy with my progress. I knew this shade was gonna take me longer. Um, it's just a different consistency it's a lot darker than the other two shades were so it's okay but i'll be getting this palette out of my collection and that makes me happy then the next thing that i have here if i can take it out is this eyeshadow from ColourPop. this is the super shock in the color six in the city you guys will be seeing a comparison picture i don't remember if the pan was up or down <laughs> i hope i'm doing it right but this is what i have right now I definitely cleaned out kind of like the middle. I know I had a little bit of product in the center. I only used this a few times. I haven't really focused on this much. Um, maybe it's time that I start using this maybe about two or three times a week if I wanna go ahead and finish it by the end of the year. Uh, but this is a lovely shade. I love to wear it with other eyeshadows. I love to wear this on its own. I think it looks great and uh, I enjoy it. It definitely is crumbly on the dryer side. I do have to use a glitter glue to make this work. Make sure I don't end up with like glitter <laughs> down my face throughout the, the day, but um, I love it. I have no complaints using that. And then the last pro product that I have here is a lip balm for um, my old job. <laughs> and it's kind of like an egg. And this is how much product I have left. 
Last update, uh, if you remember, I had kind of flattened the egg. This was kind of an egg-shaped lip product, and I was able to um, flatten it out last month. And since last time, I've been digging in, and I have dug quite a bit of product out. Now, I know that there's no way I can finish this by the end of the year just using it on my lips. So I have been using it as a cuticle treatment at night. That's what I did with the... I had a... A, a lip balm from Glam Glow that came in a shape like this and that's what I had to do and I kind of wanted to see how far I could get into oh my gosh one two three four five there are five stray cats <laughs> just walking around holy cow uh, anyway um so yeah I'm using it I'm multi I started multitasking it now because with how much time I have left at the end of the year there's no way I'm going to be able to use it up using it just on my lips so yes a uh, ton of progress. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to finish this by the finale, so no issues there. So no empties right now, nothing to roll in, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's kind of getting towards the end of the year where all the projects are kind of wrapping up, and I wouldn't want to introduce a new item because I know I won't be able to finish it by the finale. So I'm happy where I'm at right now with my products. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.